Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink, and I'm so excited to share these cards with you guys. It's one of these times where the random kind of ideas in my head ended up turning out even better with all my experimenting. So I'm starting off with a piece of gold vellum and a piece of silver vellum from Prima. I'd shown these in a haul forever ago. I've used them in a few videos. Absolutely love them, especially the gold, because I'm just partial to gold. And I treated the cardstock with my anti-static powder tool first, and I even took the lid off a little bit to really get a lot of that anti-static powder on there since I'm working with vellum. And because I want this to stamp as perfectly as possible. So I'm using the Hero Arts hand-drawn snowflakes background for this gold piece, and I inked it up with Versamark ink, laid the vellum on it, and used a scratch piece of paper so I don't get a bunch of Versamark on my hands. And then I'm coating this um, piece of vellum with the Ranger Princess Gold embossing powder. I went through kind of all of my embossing powder. I have several different shades of gold, and this one seemed to be kind of the closest to um, this gold vellum. So once I've got that on there, I'm going to let my heat tool heat up for a little bit and then bring it to the vellum. And just like any vellum, it um, when you stamp and want to emboss on it, the embossing powder melts really, really quickly. So it doesn't take very long. And the minute the embossing powder is melted, move away to the next area because vellum can warp and burn really easily. So once this is melted, this was just, it was like, oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> absolutely gorgeous i just the stamp this hero art stamp is so beautiful i have been trying to fit in the time to use all the things and this one has been on my list so did that for that one and i wanted to use it again and again and again but i thought i wanted to use this other one as well this is the holiday florals bold prints background that is also fabulous it's so detailed so I inked that up with Versamark. I did the exact same thing on the silver vellum. I um, added extra powder from my anti-static powder tool and just really coated that because vellum especially can really pick up like the oils from your hands and then the embossing powder clings to it. And I don't usually mind that when I, if I'm trimming things down, but this I wanted the entire piece to be stamped perfectly. So flip that over onto the background stamp, use the scratch piece of paper. And then this one, because of the detail, I just used my reverse tweezers to quickly peel it up. And then I used the super fine detailed silver embossing powder from Ranger um, because that's what I have. I probably could have just used a silver, but with um, these ones, this was the one I just happened to grab. And it's actually perfect, I think, for this stamp because it is very, very detailed. So coated that with that super fine detail and then embossed that as well. And I've said in other videos, I'm not the biggest silver person. I don't reach for silver that often, but melting this embossing powder it was just this again it's so gorgeous <laughs> it turned out so fabulous i just love it so melted all of it with my heat tool so i have the silver piece and the gold piece and like i said i wanted to use the full piece i wanted these to be the full background of my cards because they're four and a quarter by five and a half so i was looking at them and i'm like how am i going to adhere this i could you know I was thinking about putting, you know, die cut snowflakes over it, sentiments, different things, because, you know, you need to hide the adhesive because vellum shows adhesive very easily. But what I ended up doing was I got my card bases ready first. So I just had some gray cardstock and some cream cardstock cut to four and a quarter by 11, and then I scored it at five and a half. So these will be top folding A2 cards. And I've done this with other, like, smaller pieces is use my little Xyron Creative Station Light. So I pulled that out. I have the permanent adhesive cartridge in there and I'm running these vellum pieces through this machine. So it is coating the entire back of these with adhesive. So I run them through and then I'm going to take my bone folder here and like really press down to make sure the adhesive sticks really well to the vellum. And then I go around all the edges to make sure that the backing paper is going to pick up um, all of the extra adhesive because I hate if there's adhesive sticking the sides. I don't like that feeling of you know stickiness against my fingers anything so using the bone folder gets all that adhesive away from the extra areas and then coats that back perfectly so once I did that I lined this up with my card base and I'm starting from the top of the card because if any other bits stick out I can trim off from the bottom and the sides and whatever so I adhered that and it was perfect <laughs> so yeah a person could technically stamp right on the card base and emboss with these embossing powders but these vellums have that shimmer to them that is just beautiful so peeled off the gold one and did the exact same thing adhered it from the top down onto this card front and 
so fabulous. And I just, I looked at these for a while. And like I said, I thought about, you know, adding maybe a die cut snowflakes or like a circle or something to adhere the sentiment to. And in the end decided, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna add a die cut sentiment and that's it. So I have the Hero Arts, this is the Joy stamp and cut set. So it comes with a stamp set and then the die cut word joy. And I die cut that six times from black cardstock. And I was gonna do my usual, adhere everything together and stack them with my multimedia matte adhesive. And I was like, I wonder if I could run them through the machine as well and stack them that way. Cause it would save me a bunch of time. So they just happened all fit three in a row there. So I don't have to use as much of the adhesive. And then for this, I pull out, and I've shown this in other videos, I pulled out my little um, embossing stylus here, and I go around, like press firmly around all of the edges of these die cuts, same thing. So this backing paper will pick up any excess adhesive, so when I peel it off, you don't get that those sticky little strings of adhesive or sticky edges, anything like that. So I take the time to go around all of those open areas against the sentiments. And that just, it saves me time in the end because it makes it perfect. So then I went over everything again with my bone folder just to make sure. And then I peel off that backing paper and it took away all the excess adhesive. So then all I have to do is stack these sentiments. It worked perfectly. So peeled off one sentiment at a time, stacked it onto the next one. And like I said, I die cut six all together. So I have, in the end, I have two sentiments that are three layers of cardstock. And since they're all coated and adhesive, once they're stacked, I can immediately adhere them to my card bases. So really simple. This was one of those few times where it's like, everything just worked. <laughs> More often than not, the experiments don't end very well, but this time they did. So got my sentiments stacked and I'm going to adhere them to the cards and leaving the whole fabulous embossed backgrounds, like as much of it as viewable as possible. And the dots for the J, I didn't run through the machine because that would have been a massive pain to try and get those um, through. So for that, I just used my multimedia mat and my crystal katana, which I wish I had thought about this a long time ago. I usually try and, you know, do all the stacking of these before adhering the whole thing to my card. And it's a pain in the butt because <laughs> they're so little and trying to handle them. Doing it like this right on the card, I just applied adhesive, stuck down the first one, applied adhesive, second one, then the third one super simple it took no time at all so got those adhered and then of course i have to finish the inside of the card so i pulled out the stamp set that comes with that die cut and i had stamped a piece on a scrap of the same gray cardstock because i was kind of experimenting before i stamped on the inside of the card and i used that large word to be able to line up all of the little words to create my sentiment for the inside of the card so one thing i really like about this set is it gives you so many options so I inked up the large Joy with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink because I don't have a silver pigment ink, shockingly. Delicata makes a beautiful one. I've just never bought it because like I said, I don't reach for silver very often and I don't have a silver Perfect Pearls. But what I remembered was if you put regular Perfect Pearl powder in the Perfect Pearl shade over black ink, it looks silver. So that's what I did. Stamped it in black, brushed over that Perfect Pearl so it made the word shimmer and look more silver and then inked up the rest of the sentiment with just the black ink and stamped that and it was just perfect. So did that and then for the cream and gold card, I cleaned off my stamp first really well. And then I'm going to use the Delicata Golden Glitz ink, which is one of my absolute all time favorites. So pulled that out and I'm going to ink up the stamp with that one. Stamp that onto the inside of my card and then I'm gonna use my gold Perfect Pearls powder for this one, which I, and again, I've shown this in previous videos. It's It creates almost a foiled look. This is one of the best combos, in my opinion, like in the history of ever. <laughs> so stamp that, brushed on the Gold Perfect Pearls. And just like the other one, I'm using a Swiffer cloth to remove the excess powder. It just picks it up and doesn't smear. Same cloth I used in a previous video. Same cloth I've been using for months, maybe even a year now. It's been a long time. I just keep folding it over or cutting off pieces. It lasts forever. And then yeah, stamp the rest of the sentiment in the black ink and that finished off these cards. These were so much fun to make. And I just, the stamps, the background stamps and the embossing and the vellum, it's just 
fun. So much fun. So as always, I will have links to everything in the description box below the video, link to my blog post, all that info will be in the description box below if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching, subscribing, thumbs upping, and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye!